वेलकम गाइज टू आवर नेक्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल दिस इज अंकुर एंड यू आर वॉचिंग पी एच पी माइडमिन ट्यूटोरियल एट कोड हब सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट द डेटा बेस ना यूजली दिस थिंग हैपन्स वेल वी आर डेवलपिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स दैट वी हैव टू ट्रांसफर आवर डेटा बेसिस फ्रॉम वन पी सी टू अनदर पी सीज स्पेशली वेन वी आर वर्किंग ऑन द लोकल होस्ट बिकॉज वेन डेटा बेसिस आर होस्टेड ऑनलाइन देन वी डोंट नीड टू होस्ट we don't need to transfer those databases but when specially in colleges and schools when we are working on the local host we don't have our own hosting then we need to transfer those databases so how we can do that now let us take example of our database that is code hub database here now you can see here is our two tables now how i can take this complete database to the another some another machine so first how we can export the database so first select your database and and above the tablets we can click on export button so when this export will complete it just select quick with the minimal options because if we choose the custom options then which type of structure you want to transfer what type of output we want everything you have to select by yourself so simply if you want all data then just click on quick click on go here now this will ask to save your file yes okay so your file is saved in your downloads folder this is codehub.sql now transfer this sql file anywhere you want so for example if i will transfer this to my friend i have sent him and now let's consider this as our friends machine so this is here he have downloaded now i want this database to be copied into some another database or on his machine so what he will do like let us consider i am as another person so give same name code hub here i will give say another name because code hub is already given give the same name click on create after creating the database you just click on import here now here we have to browse the file now select your code hub dot sql and now click on go now this will show here how many queries we have run how much time it has taken and now if we will click on structure of the database then we will see both the tables with all the information in them so like here in basic table these are three records in new basic table there are also three records so in this way the all data like all the structures of the data all information in that has been transferred now in the case if we want to transfer a single table then what we can do is click on the table name like this and then click on export so in this way it will export only a table it it is shown here exporting rows from basics table so only rows will be exported and if you want to go in the details of that like if you want to transfer only some few rows then you can just select here one row two if you want to export only these two rows then select these rows and click on export now exporting rows from basics but in this way you will export only those rows which you have selected so basically we use the complete database transfer but this is also an option by which we can only send the tables only send views or only send the sum of the rows so thank you guys for watching this video now Uh, if you have any suggestion or if you want to give any idea by which you want some videos so you can post that in comments if you like this videos like it subscribe to my channel and keep watching thank you